We are group number three here to present the role play on Bishop's Candlestick, written by Norman Macaulay. The role play is based on the theme that love and kindness can change a man rather than violence. Thank you. Mary, is it the soup boiling yet? Not yet, madam. Well, it ought to be. You haven't done the fire properly, child. But madam, you yourself made the fire up. Don't ask me back like that. It's new. Yes, madam. Then don't let me have to rip you again. No, madam. I wonder where my brother can be. It's after 11 o'clock and no sign of him. Mary! Yes, madam. Did Masanya or Divisha leave any message for me? No, madam. Did he tell you where he was going? Yes, madam. Yes, madam. Then why haven't you told me, stupid? Madam didn't ask me. But that is no reason for you not telling me, is it? Madam said only this morning I was not to chatter. So I thought, oh, mon Dieu, you thought? Oh, it's hopeless. Yes, madam. Don't keep saying yes, madam, like a parrot. Nincompu. No, madam. Well, where did Monsignor say he was going? To my mother's, madam. To your mother's? Indeed. And why, pray? Monsignor asked me how she was, and I told him she was feeling poor. You told him she was feeling poorly. Oh. Oh, and so my brother is to be kept out of his bed and go without his supper because you told him she was feeling poorly. There's gratitude for you. Madam, the soup is boiling. Then pour it out, fool, and don't chatter. No, no, not like that. Let me do it. And do you put these salt salads on the table? The silver ones. The silver ones, madam? Yes, the silver ones. Are you stupid as well as deaf? They are sold, madam. Sold? Are you mad? Who sold them? Why were they sold? The senior, the bishop, told me this afternoon while you were out to take them to my senior Gurbez, who has often admired them and sell them for as much as I could. But you had no right of doing so without asking me. But madam, the senior, the bishop, told me. Monsignor the bishop is, oh, but, but what did he have wanted with the money? Pardon, madam, but I think it was from Mia Bringoa. Mia Bringoa, indeed? Mia Bringoa, what? The old witch who lives at the top of the hill and who says she's bad ridden just because she's too lazy to do any work? And what did Mia Bringoa want with the money? Pray. Madam, it was for the rent. The bailiff would not wait any longer and threatened to work out today if it were not paid. So she sent little Jean to my senior to ask for help. And? Oh, mon Dieu, it is hopeless. Hopeless. We shall have nothing left. His estate is sold. His savings is gone. His furniture, everything. Wait not for my little dog, which is done. Oh, and now my beautiful, beautiful salsaras. Oh, it is too much. Too much. Madam, I'm sorry. If I had known... Sorry and why pray? If Monsignor the Bishop chooses to sell his salt to us, he may do so, I suppose. Go and wash your hands. They're disgracefully dirty. Yes, madam. Ah, how nice and warm it is in here. It is worth going out in the cold for the sake and the comfort of coming in. Thank you, dear. Why? What is the matter? You've been crying. Has Mary been troublesome, huh? Ah. No, it wasn't Mary, but... but... Well, well. You should tell me certainly. Mary, my child, run home now. Your mother is better. I have prayed with her and the doctor has been. Run home. And Mary, let yourself in quietly in case your mother is asleep. Oh, thanks, thanks, my senior. Here, Mary, take my comforter. It will keep you warm. It is very cold tonight. Oh no, my senior. What nonsense, brother. She is young. She won't hurt. Ah, Bursa, you have not been out. You don't know how cold it has become. There. Run along, little one. Brother, I have no patience with you. There, sit down and take your soup. It has been waiting ever so long. And if it is spoiled, it serves you right. It smells delicious. I'm sure Mary's mother is not so ill that you need have stayed on such a night as this. I believe those people pretend to be ill just to have the bishop call on them. They have no thought of the bishop. 
It is kind of that to want to see me. Well, for my part, I believe that charity begins at home. And so, you make me this delicious shoe. You are very good to me, sister. Good to you? Yes, I should think so. I should like to know where you would be without me to look after you, the duke of every idle scamp or lying old woman in the parish. If people lie to me, they are poorer, not I. But it is ridiculous. You will soon have nothing left. You give away everything. Everything. My dear, there is so much suffering in the world and I can do so little. Huh, so very little. Suffering? Yes. But you never think of the suffering you've caused to those who love you the best. The suffering you've caused to me. You, sister dear, have I hurt you? Ah, I remember you had been crying. Was it my fault? I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm sorry. Sorry? Yes, sorry you want to mend it, huh? Oh, do go on eating your soup before it gets cold. Very well, dear. But tell me... You are like a child. I can trust you out of my side. No sooner is my back turned, than you get that little mix made to sell the silver salt cellars. Ah, yes, the salt cellars. It is a pity. You, you were proud of them? Proud of them? Why? They have been in our family for years. Yes, it is a pity. They were beautiful. But still, dear, one can eat salt out of a child just as well. Yes, or meat of the floor, I suppose. Oh, it's coming to the dad, and after that, an old rep near Gringoa. I wonder she had the audacity to send her again. The last time I saw her, I gave her such a talking to that it ought to have had some effect. Yes, I offered to take her in here for a day or two, but she seemed to think it might distress you. Distress me? And the baby, who's a very just man, would not wait longer for the rent. So, so you see, I had to pay it. You had to pay it. Yes, and you see, I had no money, so I had to dispose of the salt cellars. It was fortunate I had them, wasn't it? But I'm sorry, I grieved you. Oh, go on, go on. You are incorrigible. You'll sell your candlesticks next. No, no, sister, you are not my candlesticks. Oh, why not? They will pay some of these rent, I suppose. Uh, you're a good sister, to think of that. But, but I don't want to sell them. You see, dear, my mother gave them to me on, on her deathbed. Just after you were born, and she asked me to keep them in remembrance of her. So I would like to keep them, but perhaps it is a sin to set a store by them. <laughs> brother, brother, you break my heart. There, don't say anything more. Give me your blessing. I'm going to bed. Good night. They would pay somebody's rent. It was kind of her to think of that. If you call her, you're a dead man. But as you can see, I am reading, my son. Why should I call up? Can I help you in any way? I want food. I am starving. I haven't eaten anything for three days. Give me food quickly. Quickly. Curse you. It's certainly, my son. You shall have food. I will ask my sister for the keys of the cupboard. Sit down. None of that, my friend. I am too old a boy to be caught with chat. You will ask your sister for the keys, do you? I like this story. You would rub the house to her. Ha ha! A good job to me. Come, where is the food? I want no keys. I have a wolf inside me, tearing at my enemies. Tearing me! Quick! Quick! Tell me where the food is! Uh, I wish for some would not lock the cupboard. Come, my friend. You have nothing to fear. How my sister you know? and I are alone here. How do I know that? Why? I have just told you. Huh. I'll risk it. But mine. Play me false and I shall have devils in hell. I'll rhyme and have it through your heart. I have nothing to lose. You have your soul to lose, my son. It is a more value than my heart. Person, person. Yes, brother. Here is a poor traveler who is hungry. If you are not in rest, will you come and open the cupboard? What? At this time of night? A pretty business, Julie. I want to have no sleep now. But to be at the back of the call never do well. Who happens to pass? 
The first one, the traveler is hungry. Oh, very well, I'm coming. Brother, what is doing with that knife? So the knife? Oh, well, you see here. Perhaps he may have thought that I, I had sold ours. Brother, I'm frightened. He glasses us like a wild beast. Hurry, I tell you. Give me four. I'll stick my knife in the bowl and help myself. Give me the keys, first off. And now, dear, you may go to bed. Stop! Neither of you leave this room. Deny you. First off, will you favor this gentleman with, a, with your company and supper? He evidently desires it. Very well, brother. Here, some cold wine and a bottle of wine and some bread. Put them on the table and stand below it so they can see you. My life. My knife is sharp. And as for forks, ah, ah, see, you don't use forks in prison. They were hunting me everywhere. 
everywhere and I had no passport, no name. So I stole again. I stole these rats. I stole my food daily. Slept in these woods, in barns, anywhere. I dare not ask for work. I dare not go down to bed. So I stole. They made me what I am. They made me a thief. God curse them all. Well, my son, you have suffered much, but there is hope for all. Hope? Hope? Ah, hope! You have walked far. You are tired. Lie down and sleep on the couch there, and I will get you some coverings. Yeah, when it comes? No one will come, but if they do, are you not my friend? The friend? They will not molest the bishop's friend. The bishop's friend? Yes. The bishops, I will get the coverings. The bishop's friend. Silver by God. Heavy, what a price. Ah, you are admiring my candlesticks. I am proud of them. They were a gift from my mother. A little too handsome for this poor cottage, perhaps. But all I have to remind me of her. Your bed is ready. Will you lie down now? Yes, yes, I am lying down. Look here, why the devil is kind to me? What do you want, huh? I want you to have a good sleep, my friend. I believe... I believe you want to convert me. Say my soul, what you call it? Well, it's no good. See, I don't know any of your damn religion. And as for the church, bah, I hate the church. That is a pity, my son, as the church does not hate you. You're going to try to convert me. Oh, ha, ha. That's a good idea. Ha ha. No more saying you're the bishop. You're not in your faith, hope, and charity. See? So anything you do for me, you do it for the devil. Understand? One must do a great deal for the devil in order to do it for God. I don't know any of your damn religion, I tell you. Won't you lie down now? It is late. Well, all right. But I want you to preach that. <laughs> Shall no one come? I don't think they will, but if they do, you are sent to lock the door. Huh? I wonder it's safe. Here, you go to bed. I'll cover myself. Go on, I tell you. Good night, my son. No lock, of course. Curse it. Huh? I'll have another look at them. Worth hundreds in water. And if I had this turned into money, they'd stack me for her. The old boy is fond of them too. Said his mother gave it to him. His mother, yes. They didn't think of my mother when they sent me to hell. This is kind to me. But what's a bishop for except to be kind to me? Here, cheer up hearty. You're getting soft. God, wouldn't my Jamie's love to see? 15729. He is taking about covering the plunder because he felt good. Good? Ha ha. Oh my god, good. Ha ha. 15729, get it soft. That's a good one, huh? No, I'll take his candlesticks and go. If I stay here, he'll preach me in the morning and I'll get soft. Damn man is preaching. Here goes.
Go and inform the police or I will. And have him sent back to prison? Sent back to hell? No, Persa, it's just a punishment for me. It was a sin. My punishment is just. But oh God, it is hard. It is really hard. No, brother, you are wrong. If you will tell the police, I will. I will not stand by and see you wrong. I know you are my brother and the best man in all France. But you are a... Uh, you are a child, I say. And I will not have your goodness abused. I shall go and inform the police. No, person, don't. The candlesticks were mine. They are his now. It is better so. He has more need of them than I. My mother would have wished it. So had she been here. But... Mozinho, Mozinho, we have something for you. Maybe enter. Yes, enter, my son. Oh, so they have caught you. Villain, have they? Yes, madam. We found a scoundrel slinking along the road. And as he won't give any account of himself, we are sitting on suspicion. Holy Virgin, this is a strong and dangerous struggle. Why are you securing him? Uh, these candlesticks fell out of his pockets. I remember the candlesticks of Mozinho, the bishop. So we brought him here so that we might identify them and then we got him up. But, but I don't understand. This gentleman is my very good friend. Your friend, Mozinho? Holy Virgin! Well! Yes, my friend. Did me the honor to sup with me tonight. And I, I have given him the candlesticks. You gave him? He did candlesticks? Holy Virgin! Remember, my son, that she is holy. Pardon, Mozinho. And now, I think you may let your prisoner go. But he won't show me his papers. He won't tell me who he is. I have told you, he is my friend. Yes, yes, that's all very well. But, but... He is your bishop's friend. Surely, that is enough. Well, but, but... Surely. I... Uh, I... <sighs> Lose the prisoner! Right about her! Quick march! You told them? You told them you had given me the candlesticks? Given me them? By God! Oh, you pitiful scoundrel! You come here and are fed and warmed and you peel. You steal from your benefactor. Oh, you black guy. Person, you are overwrought. Go to your room. What? And leave you with him to be cheated again? Perhaps murdered? No, I will not. Person, leave us. I wish it. Well, if I must go, at least I'll leave the candlesticks with me. Person, place the candlesticks on the table and leave us. I will not. I, your bishop, command it. Mosinia, I'm glad I didn't get away with them. I'm glad. Curse you. I'm glad. Now, won't you see here? See, your bed is ready. No, 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 I had it. I had it. Besides, I must go home. He's getting to buy again. He's big. Man. I can be lost there. They won't find me. I must travel with him. Do you understand? I see. You must travel by night. I, I didn't believe there's any good in the world. One has his name, one has his name. But somehow, somehow I know we are good. And it's a good thing to ask. But could you, could you perhaps bless me before I go? I think you would help me. Good night. Good night. Stay, my son. You've forgotten your property. Me, me? You want me to take them? Please, they may help you. And my son, there is a path through the woods at the back of this cottage which leads to Paris. It is a very lonely path and I have noticed that my friends, the Jengas, do not like lonely paths at night. It is curious. Uh, uh, thanks, thanks, Mr. Somehow, somehow it made me feel that there is just something that comes as if 